First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweshai, Bahashim Rokwak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And a sincere salutation to all you Akim and you Akwat that believe in all sincerity. So as you see here, Biden vows to limit the number of bullets that can be in a cartridge. And I first saw this uh, article on the Next News Network. They were uh, headlining this um, this speech that he gave on Wednesday. So I went and I looked looked it up and I found this article. Among other articles, I found this one too. And you can Google this title and it'll come up. And it's basically a transcript of what he said. Okay, word for word. But... um. There's something more sinister going on, okay? And he uh, actually hints at scripture, okay, in his speech, okay, on Wednesday, December 8th. So I would like to read this article and get some um, scriptures, Lord willing, this will be edifying. It says, President Joe Biden spoke at the 10th Annual National Gun Control Vigil <clears throat> Wednesday night and assured attendees he is still pushing to limit the number of bullets that can be in a cartridge, and when you come to this article, okay, as you see here at the top, the name of the article, um, basically, he says, 10 years ago, this, nation, this nation's virgil, vigil was created here in Washington to pray for the souls of Sandy Hook and their families. It says, ever since this that time this church has been opening its doors to more victims and more families of a violence that rips at the very soul at the very soul of this nation okay so <clears throat> the vigil is actually for uh you know to pray for uh, sandy hook and those that died okay now basically when you look up uh, sandy hook there was a lot of talks of um that it, it could have been um orchestrated. As a matter of fact, I think um this guy um Alex Jones was sued for saying that that it was orchestrated. Okay, and he actually had to pay a couple million dollars. Let's get that. Alex Jones sued for Sandy Hook comments. Shoot. Uh, let's see here's a small sampling of what he said my gut is with the timing and everything that happened this is staged and you know I've been saying the last few months get ready for big mass shootings and then magically it happens Okay, folks, we, we got to get private investigators up to Sandy Hook right now because I'm telling you this, this stinks to highest heaven. Okay, it's phony as a $3 bill. Um, we got parents laughing, ha, ha, ha. Then they walk over to the camera and go boo, hoo, hoo. And not just one, but a bunch of parents doing this and then photos of kids that are still alive. They, they, they said died. I mean, they think we're so dumb. <clears throat> okay, so that's what um what um Alex Jones had said, okay, about Sandy Hook. Okay, and Sandy Hook was basically um in New Connecticut on December 14, 2012. Twenty year old Adam Lanza shot and killed twenty six people. Twenty of the victims were children between six and seven years old. And the other six were adult staff members, okay? And, um, you know, Alex Jones said that it was staged, okay? And we've said that. We've said, uh, you know, through the spirit that, you know, a lot of 
uh, shootings were staged. But, um, you know, going back, you know, Biden, you know, he spoke, okay, at a church on Washington, at Washington, okay, for the souls of Sandy Hook and, and others, you know, that um, mourn, you know, other mass shootings, okay? So, um, let's see what, uh, what he said at this, um, at this anniversary, which is the 10th. Okay. Biden said after this, after mentioning the gun control legislation, he signed into law in midsummer 2022. Okay. After Biden mentioned his gun control legislation, he quickly added, it's still not enough. Okay. It's still not enough. And vigil tenants broke into applause. So a lot of people are seeing him as a, a certain type of savior. Okay. Because he's limiting the number of bullets that can be in a cartridge. All right. It says he then said our work continues to limit the number of bullets that can be in a cartridge. Type of weapons that can be purchased and sold. Attempt to attempt to ban assault weapons. Okay. So basically... You know, what he's trying to do is limit the number of bullets that can be in a cartridge, the type of weapons that can be purchased and sold. Okay. And he's attempting to ban assault weapons. Okay. A whole range of things that are just common sense. <clears throat> Biden talked of a, how a, Biden talked of how a federal assault weapons ban was in place once and suggested we can do it again. He then said, scripture says the light shines in darkness and darkness have not overcome it. Biden told the, the gun control vigil attendees that they are the light. Okay. So what I found interesting as I, um, you know, meditated upon this because, you know, they, they, uh, you know, they're, they're, uh, they have a forked tongue, you know, the, the serpent doesn't, doesn't speak plainly, you know, he, 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 you know, he actually sp uh, spits venom. Okay. Um, was first. Psalms 55 and 21, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. Okay. And if Esau's blessing was the sword how is he gonna ban his blessing okay the only way that this could make any sense is if they're trying to unarm okay a population you see and we've said this time and time again you know that that, that um you know, they don't want you to uh, fight back. They want you to be docile. And there's a lot of Americans that are not going to go for it. You know. He said, he then said, our work continues to limit the number of bullets that can be in a cartridge, type of weapons that can be purchased, sold, attempt to ban assault weapons, a whole range of things that are just common sense. Right. It's common sense to them. While they stockpile, um, you know, weapons after weapons and, and, and create their arsenal and big up their, and, you know, their, their military, right? It says the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Okay, so if he speaks smooth, just know that he's really for war, okay? Let's get drawn swords. Strong's H6609. Pethi Ha. Right. Pethi Ha. He's, he's saying all this smooth uh, words, okay? Smoother than butter, okay? His words are softer than oil, yet he's, uh, he's locked and loaded, okay? And, and he's, you know, he's actually...